One thing we can do to help with our interpretation of this study down the road is to open up multiple reformats so that we can co-localize anatomy and kind of be able to tell where we are more clearly as we're going through the pulmonary artery. What we have here are our axial slices. These are 1.25 millimeters in thickness. This is pretty much going to be our workhorse for evaluating the study. However, what I would recommend considering to do is also opening up something like a coronal uh, plane. And these are, uh, these are actually MIPS. These are thicker slices that I made when I reformatted the study. And this, these are actually 10 centimeter or, or one centimeter slices that go um, two millimeters at a time. So there's actually a lot of overlap. It's not, um, it's not very jumpy. It actually is very smooth, but you're getting one centimeter slices each time and the distance it moves as you go um, forward versus backwards is about two millimeters. So that helps kind of uh, stack information together and see some of these branching pulmonary arteries a little bit more clearly. And then what you can do is actually go here and do your triangulation so that as you scroll through, you can click and kind of co-localize where you are. Now, as you get more experience, this may not be such a big deal, but especially early on, I think one of the things you may not realize is how quickly branch vessels come off. So we're, we're, we're just going, you know, let's say the right um, pulmonary artery here, and then we have these vessels that are coming off, we just co-localize, and then we can see very clearly here, oh, you know, there is actually a branch coming off the pulmonary artery right here, and that's actually what we're seeing here in the other plane. So if you don't do this early on, you may not appreciate kind of how, where all these branches are coming off from, and you may, you know, it's not uncommon to maybe blow past those branches there and just look kind of more distal and look at the branches there. So I think all in all, it's, it's useful to use multiple planes, especially early on as you're learning, so you can kind of co-localize and just get a sense of how the anatomy works.